In honor of Fire Prevention Week, the Huntington Beach Fire Department, along with Marine Safety, open the doors and let the public in to see firefighting in action, firefighting and paramedic rescue, and much, much more as active displays and real saving life information help to connect the message with hundreds. Really, it's pretty simple. Have a smoke alarm in every, every bedroom in the areas leading to the bedrooms, and your family's gonna be a lot safer. The importance of the message is to be safe and to make sure your smoke detectors are in working order and to make sure that your home is covered and that you have an escape plan for your, for your members of your family and that you um, have a plan set up so that everybody knows where to meet in case of emergency. Mayor Hardy on hand, undercover, during the tour of the firefighters' work and home life, inside what it's like to be a firefighter. The residents and visitors alike took away very important lessons. During Fire Prevention Week, we are learning to conserve our water, right? We only call 911 in emergencies, correct? Yes? And we love our firefighters in Huntington Beach. Oh, it's great. I think it's a great opportunity for the kids to be aware of uh, safety and precautions. And I'm glad that they came here to experience that. It's been just a lot of fun and educational. Yeah, we've learned a lot about what the firemen do on a daily basis, got to take a tour. And then we also got to see them do a demonstration on um, fighting a fire in a house and taking someone out of a car, cutting them out, right? Well, cutting the car. Not cutting the person. Not cutting the person. Cutting, cutting the car. The car. Yeah, that was out. to get the person out. We learned that we need to have a smoke detector in each room, so we were lucky and we won one. Yay. Two, three. I don't see cheese. Stop eating. It would be the last open house under the leadership of HB Fire Chief Patrick McIntosh as the retiring veteran was thrown a retirement celebration in the same venue some weeks later on November 17th. Contributions to the department, to the city, and his professional accomplishments were highlighted and honors went abound for this very much like firefighter. Now ending a 36 year career and six right here in Huntington Beach. He was the first major hire that I made at the time, and when I was interviewing candidates, everyone said, this is the guy you gotta hire. He's a class guy. He is the guy that will move Huntington Beach to a new level, and I think without a doubt, Patrick, you have done that. You know, I'm really gonna miss Chief McIntosh. She's um, a great friend, a true leader, uh, really an innovator in public safety. Really, I think during his leadership, helped bring the police department and fire department better to provide an overall better public safety experience for our residents, businesses, and visitors here. He came into our department in a very tough time. Uh, economic downturn, concessions, uh, reductions in the budget, all these things, but yet kept a good relationship with, uh, with the department. Uh, so it's, he did an awesome job here. So it is a, it's a bitter time for us that we're losing him. We're happy for him and we're sad for us. Um, but it's a small, token of our appreciation. And it definitely, from the men and women of the Huntington Beach Fire, Fire, Firefighter Association has our challenge going on there. So you always remember um, that you made an impact on us. So thank you from, for our fire department and for the Firefighter Association. Thank you very much, Chief. Following, the Chief spoke about the retirement celebration in his office on his last day of work. Um, humbling, actually. It's a, I like attending events like that. I just don't like being the reason they're attending events like that. I'm more, I think probably like most firefighters, I'm more of a um, low-key, behind the scenes, I'm just doing my job. But seeing the colleagues and the friends come out uh, was pretty humbling. 36 years is certainly a long time um, and you hope you've made a difference in, in people's lives. The things they said was uh, a little uncomfortable because I, I don't like the attention, but I think it goes back to what we talked about a few minutes ago is did you leave the organization better than you found it? Um, did you care about your people in a true and sincere way? And did you lead by example? Were you truly a servant leader that people were proud to say we had the chance to work alongside Patrick as our fire chief? 
um, because that's how I look at it. I had an amazing career for 36 years, the last six years humbled to be given the opportunity to be the fire chief here and then quite frankly to connect with the members and to be able to think that we made a difference and um, worked side by side with the men and women in the Huntington Beach Fire Department. I wasn't just their chief.